It's day two at John X Safaris and we want to start the morning off with a bang, quite literally. Yesterday I saw Quinton de Kock take a fantastic 47 yard shot at a mountain reedback with the bow. It was the perfect start to our hunting trip, but this morning is going to look quite different. With one animal down with the bow, we've decided to do a rifle hunt today, and I've got my sights set on a waterbuck. Waterbuck are large antelope that like to spend their time near water, as their name suggests, and so these hillsides above the Fish River Valley and the surrounding tributaries are the perfect place to start. Waterbuck are easily identified by the white rings on their backsides and the long curved horns on the males. The previous day we'd spent some time at the range checking the rifle zero and shooting some gongs at long range, so I was as ready as I've ever been. We start the day off well before sunrise with an early breakfast, some coffee and a discussion of the day's plans. The beauty of hunting with a rifle is that you have the option of taking a long shot if you're comfortable doing so and that means that taking the time to stalk in close is not always necessary. In this case things happen very quickly early on as Carl spots a herd of water back on a hill below us and before we know it, it is all going down. We've identified the animal that we want to shoot, but it's not quite as easy as lining up and pulling the trigger. The herd is moving away from us, probably to get some warmth in the sunlight, but as they move, we have to keep repositioning for a clear shot and keep ranging and recalculating. When we'd first spotted the herd, it was about 280 meters away from us, but now it was 150 meters further. And although we were expecting them to stop nicely for us as they got into the sun, things ended up playing out a little differently. They keep moving away from us towards the thick stuff and we end up having to reposition ourselves further down the hill for a clean shot. For quite a long time we can't see the bull at all but eventually Carl spots him better down in the bushes and it's game on. He isn't giving me a clear vital shot but he's keeping his head very still and with the wind having died down quite a bit, I decide to take a headshot. I get a range of 460 meters, plug everything into my ballistics calculator and prepare for the shot. There we go. Down. There, down. Lovely. What a shot, Chris. <laughs> Well done, my 460 man. meters. This is my man. Yes, see. beautiful. You hit him absolutely perfect. Sort of in the back, back of the head, the neck area. He's been lying, quartering away from us. I mean, at 460, that's a fantastic shot. Perfect. So, well done, my man. Perfect. I mean, he's lying in the sun, out of the way, out of the wind, and what a perfect setup. What a great shot, eh? Yeah, I'm very, very happy. Uh, first time I'm using this rifle on an animal that size. I've shot warthogs, I've shot blessed buck, um, but. I was kind of uncertain of how these small 6.5 millimeter bullets would perform on an animal like that, um, but I'm, I'm very, very happy. Uh, it seems to, seem to do their job very well. And they are high ballistic coefficient bullets, which means at, at ranges like this, they, they don't drop as much, and they're not affected by wind as much, which really helps me as a shooter just to, to get that doubt out of my mind of, you know, if there's gonna be slight wind drift or anything. Um, just dialed everything in straight onto my phone, got the conditions in here, uh, got the, the temperature, uh, barometric pressure, we're up here on the mountains, uh, got everything sorted, press calculate, dial it in and take the shot and he dropped straight down. So yeah, no, it was, it's um, yeah. phenomenal, great shot. I mean that animal there and the beauty about your setup and what you've got, absolutely quiet. The females yeah. have run 30 yards, they, they, they were just beyond the bushes where he was and they've come out now into the sun, they don't, actually don't know what's going on. Hmm. And I mean, you, you've taken a shot at a range here that has literally kept everything around it completely relaxed. Yeah. Which is nice. You don't have animals running crazy, mad, everything is settled and, and what a perfect shot. And I can see him lying there right next to the aloe part of his body in the sun. Perfect. Thanks so well much, done, Carl. My man. Shot. Pleasure, pleasure. Great shooting. Let's go get him, shall we? Yeah. Let's head down there. Here he is, my man. Lovely. Beautiful, eh? Perfect. Yay! Well done, man. Thank you. Good shooting, and we got ourselves a real proper management waterbuck bull, yeah. 
Um, part of our plan and our strategy here at Woodlands, it's obviously a new property for us. We're trying to get our genetics right, and this bull's most certainly not of a trophy quality. So mm. this bull is a good one to take out this morning. You made an excellent shot in the neck. So we got a lot of meat for the meat locker, and we're going to make lots of nice bolton. Perfect. And lots of nice mints for dry sausage. It's the start of winter coming up, so we are short on both of those. So it will go to good use. Well, that's a wrap. We've got a, a lovely waterbuck bull down. I'm very, very happy. Uh, things could not have played out any better with the way the shot was taken, and um, you know the recovery was very, very easy. So, yeah. so no, thank you so much for Pleasure, wonderful man. hunt. So, thanks to to John X for a great experience, and yeah, I hope you guys can come down here and, and enjoy the same experience. Um, Quinny, come here quickly. <laughs> so, I want to say thanks to my. Cameraman for the day, Quinton de Kock. Uh, obviously, he's not known for his camera skills, but he did a did a good job today. So, shot brew. Um, Quinny's also been doing some some hunting here. He's been having a good time. So, yeah, we've had had a really good time, and things could not have played out any better. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. I would have liked to spend a little bit more time on this one, but the day is still young. And in the next episode, we are going to be continuing with day two at John X and following Quinny on a spot and stalk blue wildebeest hunt with the bow. It's going to be epic. Stay tuned for part three.